The parallels, they're, just, they're pretty striking. Does history tell us that these 20s will turn into a roaring 20s when this pandemic finally ends? Well, you know, the truth is we can't do anything predictive in history, but it does suggest that there's a lot of parallels that should make us think. I mean, we're coming off after 1920, a global pandemic, yes, also a global war and tremendous economic instability in the country. And frankly, people went to town. Uh, they decided they wanted to forget the pandemic, forget the, the war as much as possible, and really spur new economic activity and spur new innovation. And frankly, I, I, you can certainly see today people are eager to get over with the pandemic. There's a likely chance that they're going to put everything that we've just seen in the last year behind them. You know, speaking of that, the Roaring Twenties, they're often discussed historically a lot more than the Spanish flu. Honestly, I don't think anybody really talks about the Spanish flu. Are you expecting the same thing to happen here? Are we just going to bury COVID-19 and just think about the good times? That, that, you know, that's a great point, because to be honest, I never talked about the Spanish flu in my lectures, maybe just an offhand comment. None of my colleagues ever talked about the Spanish flu. And the reason is because in the 1920s, people really did want to put that pain behind them. They were willing to talk about World War I, willing to remember World War I. But the pandemic was just too unpleasant, and there were no heroes in the pandemic in a real sense. So consequently, the historical record is really remarkably thin on pandemic material. There's really no way to recover what people thought about the pandemic, because frankly, they didn't talk about it all that much. And I'll tell you, going forward, my colleagues and I are certainly talking a lot more about the pandemic in 1920 when we try to understand that period of history. You know, right after the Roaring Twenties, the country, it partied right into the Great Depression. Uh, how can we learn from history to make sure that doesn't happen to the U.S. again? So it's really quite interesting because there was this memory of this incredible partying, as you say, of this incredible enthusiasm, the jazz age, and, the, and all the exuberance on the stock market. But one of the things that's really key to remember is that the Roaring Twenties weren't roaring for everyone. About half of the population actually didn't experience any roar, if you will. This was a period of tremendous income inequality, of tremendous disparity. Farm workers in particular had difficult times during the 20s. You could say, in fact, the Great Depression hit them several years earlier. So one of the cautionary tales from the 1920s is that in the midst of all the fun and enthusiasm, policymakers better be careful to make sure that everyone is playing a part in that enthusiasm or else, unfortunately, it could all come crashing to an end like it did back in 1929. You know, Jeff, I think we're seeing some of that now as the economy starts to recover. Some people being left behind and instead of farm workers, maybe hospitality workers. Um, before we let you go, what does history tell us about how quickly things like travel will return to normal? Almost immediately. I mean, the truth of the matter is the moment people are, were let out in 1920, they went to town and they went across the country and they went across the, the oceans. Uh, this was a great period of travel, especially international travel. Essentially, you know, people were unleashed. And again, I can't stress enough that we're in the midst of a pandemic now and it feels like it's going to be our entire lives. But the truth is, history suggests that when these awful societal events occur, uh, frankly, people put them behind them as quickly as possible. Societies put them behind themselves as quickly as possible. So not only will people enjoy themselves, but frankly, a couple of years from now, we won't be talking about the pandemic, at least if it ends. Jeff, I'm one of those people. I'm never gonna talk about this again when it's over. We appreciate you being here. Enjoy your weekend. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.